Hi, we're doing another comparison over here at Seattle Coffee Gear. This is the Toddy Cold Brew versus the Osaka Cold Brew. Hi, it's Gail at Seattle Coffee Gear. And while these are very much alike, they are very different. And I'm gonna go over the different ways that they brew. The Toddy's been around for a very long time and it makes a concentrated cold brew. You put a felt, a it's a felt filter and it's like a disc and you stick it down in the bottom here. You put the coffee in, put, first put the plug in the bottom. There's a plug, felt, coffee, water. And then you let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. And then you come along and pull the plug and it drains down into this carafe. So cold brew as it sits with the water as an immersion, actually. The Osaka uh, contraire is a little bit different. You put proportions of water and ice cubes up here, and you put your coffee down here, and it has a metal mesh filter that it goes down through, and then you put this other metal mesh on top, and that disperses the water as the water hits it. And then how this one works is this little turn spout down here, as you turn it, opens it or closes it, and this produces a drip, and it drips down on here. And you do about two, to th two drips per three seconds. So you sit here and you fine tune it, and it's very cold water, and it goes down into the craft, and it takes about three hours, depending on how many cups you're doing. And the maximum is two and then, or four, two to four is what you get. And it's not really a concentrate. This makes 34 cups because you're gonna dilute it. Whereas this makes what you see here. Very different, but a lot alike. You're not using hot water. It's still a cold brew. It's just done in a different way. And we use the uh, Zoka, Zoka Java in here. So I'm gonna just give a taste test. This does not come with a lid, this does come with a lid. We put a plate on top of it to keep contaminants out in that 20 hours that we brewed it. So, just saying. Let's take all this out of here again. Put it down in there. Nice little carafe, kind of quite like that. Man, that's heavy. Gotta give it a little balance here. I can see that came out looking very thick, stout, but I want to compare them just the way they are. That's a lot lighter. I don't know if you saw that as it was pouring, a lot lighter. Look at, the, I mean, look at the difference in the cup. Yep, it's very smooth. As much as it's very, very stout, it's very smooth, it's not acidic. Mm, very, very smooth as well. Quite like it. So they're both very good. Uh, I would, you know what I'm going to do, just to see. I'm going to pour a little bit of that out of there, and I'm going to put a little bit of water in just to see what it tastes like diluted. Because I know it's good. I've had it before. But I want to dilute it a little. I still don't have it as thin as that one, but... Yeah, it's, it's getting much closer to that. It's quite nice, actually. Mm, they're both good. They're both very, very smooth. Uh, you know, that's the one thing about cold brew. It doesn't get any smoother. And if you have troubles with your tummy with acidic stuff, this is a solution. Well, it's a, it can be a solution from you. I'm not the doctor. I'm not going to tell you what's going to be best, but we know a lot of people that like it for that reason. So check them out on our website. They're both posted on there. Toddy's been around a little bit longer. The Osaka's a little bit newer to us. They make some other brewers, the Osaka as well. Uh, like I said, check it out on our webpage. Comments down below if you happen to have these brewers. Let me have some tips. Maybe there's some different ways we can use these in a coffee collaboration. Mm, just saying. Uh, you have any questions, give us a call. Comments down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel and take care. Get your cold brew going.